Hi, Dr. Alex here, and welcome to a video which is not on YouTube. Well, obviously, this video is on YouTube, but it's about a video which is not on YouTube and which has just started now at the same time as this video, at least premiering, but on Rumble. This is a Rumble exclusive video I'm showing, and I'm just here to tell you where it is, and there is a link in the description that you can follow and watch it right now. Uh, the video itself is Otherworld, Episode 1, the sci-fi series from the mid-80s, 1985, I think, from memory, which you may know nothing about, or maybe you do, but it was certainly very hard to find, that's for sure. The show has been plaguing my memory ever since I was a child, where I must have seen the first episode when it was aired on UK TV, probably in 85 or 86, which would have made me... 11 or 12 when I first saw it, and the only time I saw it, and probably only episode one. My vague memories were of this very weird sci-fi series with an odd look and feel and rhythm to it, which had this really weird car that they all piled into at one point, and that was the only concrete fact that stuck in my memory from it, really. And then it's been plaguing me ever since. Okay, I finally found out what it was, and it was Otherworld, as you now know, and the series has nearly vanished off the face of the earth. It is impossible to buy from any official source. It's never been released on DVD or video even, as far as I can see. The only copies in existence, once I identified what series it was through various Google searches, are on YouTube and are of dubious quality taken off video recordings that people made from the TV when it was broadcast the first time. And one source online selling copies, which have themselves been clearly transferred off, VHS copies that were taken from the TV. And although they're probably better than most of the YouTube ones, they're still not great quality. So I took the best quality copies I had and edited them together, cleaning up the video and audio to the best of my abilities. I'm not a professional video or audio editor, but I did the best I can do to make them the highest quality I can and clean them up as best I can. And I've put episode one out on Rumble right now. Now you might ask, why did I put it out on Rumble rather than on YouTube? And that's because, although from what I can see, people are claiming it is out of copyright, people are selling DVD versions on eBay, which is where I got one of them, claiming that it is out of copyright. But I don't know if that's true. So I didn't want to risk putting something that may or may not be out of copyright out on YouTube because they're pretty nasty about that sort of stuff these days. And I was even reluctant to put it on Rumble, but I am at the moment in very good standing with Rumble, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, touch wood, that this video won't get copyright struck and won't cause a problem with Rumble either. But I had to take a chance with someone, and of the two options I had, Rumble seemed marginally the safer one. YouTube just isn't worth the risk. For those who, like me, remember the series, at least vaguely, there are a few standout points of note. Uh, the cast was quite strong in places. One episode had Mark Leonard, Sarek, from the original Star Trek, playing quite an important supporting character for that episode. And in the main cast, Gretchen Corbett, who most people would know as the long-suffering, almost girlfriend of Rockford in The Rockford Files, plays the mother in the series and is really good, does a very good job of that role. But the other regular cast member who is surprisingly standout is Jonathan Banks, who I think is most recognisable, at least to me, as the killer in Beverly Hills Cop, who kills Axel Foley's friend at the beginning of the film. He is obviously in many other things since, but that's where his face most stands out to me anyway. And this series is really quite watchable, particularly compared with some modern stuff out these days. And so, yeah, I was surprised. I assumed when I started watching it for the first time again that this is going to be very cheesy 80s sci-fi. And it's actually slightly more well thought out and slightly more thought-provoking than your standard schlock sci-fi of the era. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope many people enjoy this. I hope many people get to enjoy this. I hope it gets to stay up on Rumble in this now Rumble-exclusive form, fully restored, at least as fully as I can do it, both in audio and video. Of course, you can see the other unrestored versions on YouTube still, but I hope it stays up in this form, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. And above all, don't take it too seriously. It's a fun, silly sci-fi from the 80s. And that said, quickly flip over to Rumble and watch it now and enjoy.
And until the next video, whatever that may be, it might be the next episode of Otherworld, you never know. Although eventually, it will also be The Doctor Season 14, Episode 10. But until whatever the next video is, to all my watchers, subscribers and viewers, take care. Masters? Mistresses? The Doctor requires materials in order to maintain the TARDIS and ensure continued functionality. He similarly requires carbon-based comestibles to sustain his own biological functions and existence. Master would never say this, but he requires aid beyond that supplied by this unit in order to acquire these. To aid the Doctor in his various tasks and creations, this can be most effectively achieved via Patreon or Substack subscriptions, or through donations directly to PayPal. Or if you desire physical goods in return for your contributions, written accounts of my travels with the Doctor are also available on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Thank you, masters, mistresses.